so I wasn't expecting to wake up and see that on Twitter this morning. Let's talk about it. Ayo, hey duckies, Andy Lip here. So, yeah, Streamlabs is trending all over Twitter. All the stories are coming out. It's absolute popcorn material. Get sat there. I'm not going to go into all the different tweets uh, just because there are so many. Just go search Streamlabs. It's beautiful. If you want to chuckle, it is crazy the amount of shenanigans that has been and is going on. On. So uh, here on the channel, I've always kind of spoke well about third parties and I always believe that there is a reason for each piece of software and stuff like that. But Streamlabs has never been really one of those things that I've ever tried to support just because I've always tried getting people to move to OBS because Streamlabs is so locked down. It's all about making money over there and all these different things are behind paywalls that are really like bro that should be free a lot of their wording on products and stuff like making it prime like making you feel like it's connected with amazon and stuff like that when it definitely isn't they are very sneaky when it comes to advertising tactics for instance if you just google obs uh, their ad comes up before obs mind blown Basically, the thing that got all this started was a new product that Streamlabs were creating. Well, new product. Uh, this is something that Lightstream has been doing for a long time. This is everything that Lightstream focuses on. This is making console streams better by adding overlays, uh, alerts, and everything like that. And they dropped a cheeky little tweet, as you can see here. And yes, both of these websites look exactly the same. The product is exactly the same. But Streamlabs does it again, copies, paste, and you can clearly see it on this website. I mean, look right down at the bottom. Look right down at the bottom. Read those, read those reviews. That is crazy. That is literally copy paste. And their little comeback to this was, uh, we, we we made a mistake. Text on landing page was placeholder text, and it went into production by error. Yada yada yada. But this isn't the first time that they've done something dodgy like this. This actually got OBS to uh, <laughs> quote the, the tweet and actually put something that I never knew. I always thought OBS and Streamlabs had um, n not necessarily a healthy uh, relationship, but just above board relationship. But look at this. Near the launch of Slobs, Streamlabs reached out to us about using the OBS name. Bear in mind, I just want to shout out OBS stands for Open Broadcasting Software. What about Streamlabs OBS is open? Can you just answer that for me? Okay. Uh, we kindly asked them not to. They did so anyway and followed up by filing a trademark. That is insane. Just take the name and then trademark it. Why not? All the guys at OBS create OBS for free they never ask for a penny obviously you can go and support them on patreon all the different ways to support github you guys should know your money is well spent supporting some genuine content creators that are giving everything away for free sounds like stuff i do on this channel like you don't need to pay to get a premium product at all everything is available especially for streamers like we want to make the best content creators out there why would we charge them a ton to do something they love doing? I don't agree with it. And that's exactly what OBS do. It is crazy. This has literally sent everything huge on Twitter. You've got some big, big people dropping in on their big streamers. Pokemane's thinking like, yo, you need to start sorting this out. Otherwise, you're taking my face off your website. Just go and look through all the tweets. That's pretty much what is going on. There is a lot of other shady things that have been going on in the past with Streamlabs. But I don't want to make this video all doom and gloom and negative. I actually want to welcome new streamers to OBS. So OBS is kind of like my bread and butter on this channel. I want to teach people how to elevate their streams, take them to the next level. There's literally like 260 videos at the moment on this channel that are dedicated to making your streams awesome 
and none of them are focused around Streamlabs. Maybe one, and that's me trying to convert people from Streamlabs to OBS. So if you do need to help moving all your scenes and everything across to OBS, I'm gonna leave that video down in the bottom and also probably bing it up there. That's if I'm actually not gonna be lazy when I'm editing this. So there are a lot of benefits of moving from Streamlabs OBS to OBS and some of them are so in your face and huge and I cannot believe they've not been a part of Streamlabs. Like they are so important to everybody's streams. The biggest one, plugins. The fact that you can use plugins, we talk about them a lot on this channel. The Move Transition plugin, literally the best plugin. Stream Effects plugin, literally the other best plugin. There's a lot of best plugins because literally, I don't know how I use OBS without them at all. Shade Filter, crazy. There are so many things out there. Your world is about to get absolutely blown wide open. A lot of people used to think it was quite complicated, but again, you've got tutorials here. You've got loads of content creators out there for resources, and guess what? Every single one is free. Utilize that information, it's free. There are other benefits as well, such as the program using less resources on your computer, and also the support center is so good. Like, there are so many people out there that are using this software, they're all like-minded creators that want to help each other. You can jump into the OBS forums. You can jump into my Discord. There's loads of people in there that want to help. You can jump in the StreamUp Discord, the OBS Discord. You see, you see what I'm saying here? All these tools and services are free. We're here to help each other. And obviously, there, there are even more out there, more benefits. And the biggest one probably is the fact that it's open source and OBS team have got nothing to hide they're there everything they wear the heart on the sleeve they tell you what they're thinking they just add as many features as they can and remember these guys do it for free obviously with streamlabs there are a lot of other services that they add in there which they <coughs> covered and pasted from other companies out there as well uh, luckily you've got plenty of people like stream elements for example whenever i first started streaming i preferred stream elements over streamlabs and that was just because they looked more of a genuine company and the beautiful thing is a lot of you are probably saying like yeah but the stream elements have got an ob obs as well no they actually worked hand in hand with obs just to create a plugin Basically, that's all that OBS.Live is. It's basically a plugin uh, for stream elements to add their UI and different elements into OBS to make it easy for you creators. And OBS were cool with that. So you can obviously use your alerts and everything like that. You can also easily convert your alerts from Streamlabs over to Stream Elements. It's super easy to do. Stream Elements have got a tool over there. Uh, if I can find a nice tutorial, I've not done one myself, but I will leave a link down in the description below on one that I do recommend as well. And not are you just moving over to OBS, you're actually opening yourself up to more third-party products that are free, may I add, to support your stream. You've got things like the Orin board. We talk about that a ton on this channel. Streamerbot, again, another tool that we talk about a ton. It literally gives you full control over every single thing that goes on on your stream and make it more interactive for your viewers. And I'm gonna say the word again, it's absolutely free. I feel like I'm an advert. You buy one, you get one free. I say you buy one, you get one free. But everything's free. You don't have to buy nothing. That was. That was a atrocious attempt at doing a funny. And I actually want to use a little bit of this time to talk about StreamUp. So StreamUp is a, a company that myself, Waldo and Silver have created. And it is literally next generational. Like you've never seen this kind of stuff done before. Little products, widgets, games, everything like that on there that are completely free to download. It's all just donation where if you want to support us, then feel free to do so. But everything is free. And I, literally, it's so far in the future, like you guys aren't ready for it. And hopefully you guys moving from Streamlabs to OBS will be able to get a nice taste of it. And guess what? I can hold your hand on the way there. You got any questions, you bang it in the comments down below on whatever video. I always do my best to reply to every single comment, okay? So don't feel left out in the dark about this whole Streamlabs thing going on because we have got your back, guys. Like, we all welcome you with open arms. There's a ton of us creators that 
we've known about this shady stuff for quite some time. We've known about the software not being great and we've always celebrated how good OBS is and we love having you on board. So any questions, I'm guessing they're exactly the same. You've got uh, Epos Box, you've got Naughty, Defrag. There's so many of us that literally will help you out if you've got any questions at all, okay? So do not feel like you are alone. We love having you here. Enjoy your streaming and enjoy freedom. Freedom! You are free. I think that is the word of this video. Free. Remember it, guys. If you want to support me, consider joining Patreon, channel memberships, all that stuff down below. Let me know your thoughts as well in the comments about this shenanigans because it is insane. I, I cannot believe a company can do these things so many times. Insane. I don't think they're going to get away with it for much longer, though. All right. Put your rock over the stone. Much love. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.